The movie starts off from the original beginning of the movie, how a journalist named Uluchur went on as an undercover investigating a drug human trafficking operation. Alongside with her friend Emeka, it details how she went undercover as a prostitute with other women to get a story. Then suddenly things went very, very wrong as the women are now trapped and kidnapped. The original movie ended one victim named Beauty, running away from the border like a marathon runner away from her abductors. The journey starts of with Beauty trying to find her way home while Ulu Chur and others not knowing where they're going. Basically, she is frightened not knowing what might happen to her after she remembers the horror seeing one of the girls being executed. When the women and their abductors arrive in Benin Republic, it's noted that the head count for the women were incomplete. The kingpin in Italy calls to complain to Tony, but Tony assures him he will solve the issue. As night came, the women were being transferred again to a different transport. Meanwhile, Beauty wakes up from a nightmare from memories when her sister got beheaded by her abductors. Due to the problem Tony was having with the number of women he was supposed to transport, he was missing two women. One got beheaded by Sheriff and Beauty escaping. He blamed everything on Alero. Alero is known for recurating these women into human trafficking. Things keep getting worse for Alero when a fellow politician, Mr. Philip, confronted her about being assaulted by a man who punched the shit him. A man linked to one of the women she recruited. Basically, he felt one of the women is trying to expose him. Mr. Philip kindly reminded her what happened when a politician gets exposed. Also, things kept getting worse for Uluchur and the women. After the women boarded a bus to the highway, they got ambushed by bike gunmen. The gunmen shoot inside the bus, killing the driver and others before crashing. Everyone died. Fortunately, Olutur and Peju survive. But Peju insisted to continue the journey to Maradi since Nigeria was far away. Later, it's revealed behind the deadly ambush was caused by a rival gang who ran the territory in Niger Republic. Rival gang visited and threatened Tony not to send any more women to his territory or else he will kill more. Beauty returned home and had the worst homecoming. She was told her mom was burnt alive. She cried as people console her. While Peju and Ulachur were crossing the cruel Niger desert, Philip visit to Tony. The visit concerning Alero. Flip stressed to Tony that Alero almost cost him everything after finding out one of the women was undercover journalist. He preferred Tony to make Alero to disappear. As the women got closer to Maradi, Tony and his boys showed up to Alero residence. They manhandled his bodyguard hey, and got hold of Alero. Alero was rough up and beaten. Tony warned her to disappear because there was bounty on her head. Alero agreed to disappear. Olucha managed to make it to Maradi. She went to an area to use the phone. First number she dialed was her mother, but she couldn't be reached. Then she called her boss at the press. She told her boss she had information and faces that she needs to expose. Unfortunately, the boss told her she needs to stop with her operation, that her friend Amika is dead. But however, there was no indication he died during last series of the movie. The faith of Amika is unknown. Last time Amika was seen was Beauty running past him at border. That ends episode one. Episode two and three can be watched. If you like this review, please subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.